that's time to be nice and quiet, and we'll have Chris seated at the front, and then we'll begin our assembly with a prayer, and then we'll hear from all the participants. Okay, so when you do hear the music, you know that Chris is... <laughs> Chris, officially welcome to Immaculata. We had a wonderful uh, last hour with Chris at Parliament Hill. We had lots of press coverage there. That's why you're not seeing too many here today. We had the new RO, so watch tonight on the news. Uh, the citizens of the story as well. So we're pleased to see uh, Chris welcome and help his message get along. We will start our assembly with a prayer. So I'd invite Sister Shelley Lawrence to come, please. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Not even gracious God, as we continue our journey in Lent, we have many things we ask of you this day for the people of our world. But at this moment, we ask you to grant Chris's hopes and dreams. Keep him in your care. Bless all those that need to be restored to health. We ask you to look after each of us and our families. This we ask of, through a loving God who journeys with us. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Sister Shelley. Uh, we have with us this afternoon our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Michael Strymus, and he's going to bring greetings from the board. Thank you very much, Mr. Domenico, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, Christopher, on behalf of the Immaculata Family of Schools, it's our true honor today to welcome you to Immaculata and to also salute and thank you for the courage and the determination that you are showing in terms of the example that you're bringing us, that example of staying with your conviction and living proof that when one person puts their mind to something, truly a difference can be made in our world. Closer to home here, Christopher, you may have heard of a young man by the name of Ryan Raljak. Ryan is from Kentville, Ontario, and Ryan began a project a number of years back called Ryan's Well. And to this point in time, he has provided fundraising for literally hundreds of thousands of dollars to produce wells and clean water in third world countries. And certainly, the type of work that you're doing in bringing awareness to us and in providing true action for us to follow, and we're going to hear about some of that today, is truly remarkable. So once again, on behalf of all of us here, thank you for your example and welcome to Immaculata. Thank you, Mr. Strymus. I'm going to repeat a few comments I made at the Hill to those were, that were with us. You've you heard this message, but it's an important one. Uh, when I was in high school, Terry Fox was making his walk across Canada. Uh, and ever since that, Terry Fox has been my personal hero. Many of you will see in my office a picture of Terry Fox on my wall. That's been with me from high school to university to every job I've had. And that's been my inspiration, everything that Terry stood for, sacrifices and the message that he put across. I know Christopher will also be a, will be a role model and will be a hero to many of you and to many of his peers through the walk that he is doing right now to raise awareness. Uh, and that's hard to hear right now as a 13-year-old when someone calls you a hero, but what you're doing is outstanding. Later in the presentation today, we'll hear from the, the, um, the other organizers of the event and they will, or, they will introduce Chris's father and others that are taking part in this uh, uh, important message. Last year, we have a program, as you know, St. Mary's Home, and our valedictorian was waiting for a liver transplant. 
she was sitting in the hospital in London and didn't think she'd be able to make it back to her graduation at St. Mary's Home Immaculata Satellite Site. Uh, they told her she was too ill to travel and she said, I will not miss my graduation. And she traveled back to Ottawa, she went to St. Mary's Home and she gave the valedictorian address and it was very moving and inspirational. She's right now very successful attending Algonquin College, but she's on that list. She's waiting for a liver transplant as well. Uh, through Chris's mission, I've learned that there's 4,000 people waiting in Canada. Someone every day dies in Canada while they're waiting for an organ transplant. Someone every hour dies in the United States waiting for an organ transplant. So the message today is very serious, it's very important, and we're very pleased to have this group here to share with us. So at this point, I'd like to introduce uh, um, Marcello to Mr. Marcello to bring a message to everyone about what's happening with Step by Step. Thank you. On behalf of Step by Step and Christopher's Wish, uh, we'd like to uh, say thank you to your, the following local supporters. Um, while we're in Ottawa, we're going to be staying here for three days. The Comfort Inn, uh, the East Comfort Inn, is helping us out with accommodations. Also, while we're here, uh, we've got to eat, uh, so we're getting some help from some restaurants, the Keg, uh, Swiss Chalet, uh, and Gracie O'Malley's, going Irish. <laughs> um, and uh, most of all, though, uh, i like to thank uh, Maculata uh, High School uh, for participating in this very important event. I remember uh, it was during October that I first made contact with Terry Shaw over at the uh, Ottawa Carlton Board, and we started the ball rolling, and it wasn't uh, until I actually talked to, I mean, things were rolling and everything, but it wasn't until I talked to your principal, uh, Tom D'Amico, that it really went into high gear. Um, and, and as soon as he heard about it, he went right into action. Like, you know, he didn't hesitate. And uh, as a result, we were able to put a, a wonderful event today at uh, Parliament Hill, and uh, we had a great escort. Um, and and uh, it, it just went great today, and, uh, and, and, and this is very important that we're talking to the students today about this important message. Uh, now, as we're going along, uh, community to community, uh, there's a lot of work, and part of the team that's making this happen um, is for people, uh, including Chris. Uh, and I want to recognize the first person, and that's Kelly Knowles, and that's Christopher's dad. Where are you, Kelly? Right here. Oh, yeah. oh, there he is. He, he, likes, he likes to hide all the time. He likes just staying in the background. Uh, and then to my left, Assistant Road Manager Billy Aidy. And um, I also wanted to thank the Ottawa Carleton Police Department, and especially uh, Constable Wayne Smith, for giving a great, great escort today through the heart of uh, Ottawa. Thank you. Um, just to talk a little bit about uh, Christopher's uh, campaign, and I promised uh, your principal I would talk a little bit about myself, which I don't mind doing, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Um, Christopher uh, started his walk January 8th from Sarnia, and that's his hometown. That was our kickoff day. On his schedule, he's visiting 200 cities. Uh, on our poster, you can see every city that we're visiting along the way. And his day is not a normal day <laughs> for most people. Like what he has to do when he wakes up to the end of the day is, is not normal. <laughs> Uh, it's exciting, it's interesting, and it's, it's a lot of emotions, and it's just mixed with everything. But the most important thing is what he's trying to do. Um, his wish is to try and reach everybody. His wish is to try and reach all the students here right now that are presently gathered here about the importance of this issue, about the importance of becoming an organ donor. Now. That probably sounds like a yucky thing to think about, right? Nobody wants to think about when they pass away. I mean, you know, there's other things to think about. So, while we're gathered here, 
if everyone could just stop and think about